everybody, it's Tyler with Guy of Force Gaming, and I've got a double feature. We had two tournaments this week, so we have a Monday and a Friday top four. Um, kind of exciting news, I'm glad to show off. Uh, we do have a new playmat that we are giving out to people who finish in top. So we have this lovely Imperial Dramon playmat. Really sick, really happy with the way it came out, designed by Zach Roy. He is the man. Um, so yeah, come play in our events, win this cool playmat. Uh, Friday was the first time we gave it away officially, and moving forward we'll be giving that away instead of War Greymon, or we'll at least give a choice, I guess, for a little bit. So I guess without further ado, let's start with Friday, because that's what's uh, pulled up right now. Uh, so Friday we had 41 competitors, didn't want to cap it for uh, the first time we were giving out the Imperial Dramon playmat. So top five got playmats. I have top fours lists. If there's a big demand for fifth place, just message me or hit up the Discord, and I'm sure Angel would love to share his list, or I could share it. It's whatever. We're chill. Uh, fourth place on Friday was Thomas Wynn. So he played Bond of Friendship. Had a pretty standard but effective deck. Uh, we have the four Upamon, one Demi V. You can opt in or out of the fifth egg. Um... Four Drabumon, three Strabi, four of the BT, six Gabumon, of course, two Adoki Betamon, two Promo Gabu, three Starter Gabu. So you got your, your full suite of Gabumons, a couple other good cards. Madoki is killer in the mirror, and just in general, honestly, memory blockers are very, very pivotal, I think, during this format. Um, we have two Mechanorimon, great choice, again, in the mirror. Probably killer helps stall in many matchups for just that turn you might need to finish the game. We have four Lobo, two Kendo, one Octo, three Core. Uh, the the Core Drummond's amazing if you hit it in security. The the hybrid Digimon help you close out the game. We have the four Bond of Friendship, of course. Three Howling Memory Boost. We have the split of removal between the cheap Rattle Star and the all encompassing Kakaitis Breath. We have four Hammer Spark. Three Davis and four Matt, uh, very solid deck. I think this is this is a good starting point if you want to play Bond of Friendship. It's very straightforward, very aggressive, and it is good. Third place we had Eli Hill, uh, Team Limit Break. Um, he played Lilith Loop. He has a really cool list here. Uh, it's uh, four Demi Marimon, one Sunamon. He had the the two Vanilla, two. Gazi, the memory blocker, again, it's great in a lot of matchups. Three Labramon, uh, two of the new Elecmon with that on play delete a rookie skill. Uh, we have four of the starter Gabu for more cycling, looting. One Viomon, uh, two Kinkakumon, three Ginkakumon, three Ginkakumon promote, just a good package. This is your win button in Lilith Loop. It just, it's. It, it's, it ends games. It's crazy. Um, two of the Blocker Devi. Three Lady Devi. Three War Growl. The Black War Growl. Uh, two Skull Greymon. Three Lilith. Three Tita. Three Zwart. We have three Jack Raid. One Underworld's Call. It is, I think it's a perfect one of them. Lilith Loop. I think you're really missing out if you're not playing that one of. The two Mega Digimon Fusion, the first banned card in Digimon. Is everyone ready for the ban list? I'm not making a reaction video. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, two Takumi and one Manoa. So, solid, solid list. He ended up going 4-0-1. So, I mean, not even not even a loss, just a draw. Uh, that's impressive. Grats to Eli. He's got uh, the Imperial Mat on his way. Second place, we had Aaron Dodd. Playing three muskets, one of my favorite decks in this uh, meta. He had the four Demi Mera, the one uh, Pagu, the, the Mill Pagu, two of the Mill Impmon, two of the Memory Blocker, four Soundbird, two Labra, and four of the Impmon that gets you back a seven Demon Lord or three Musketeer, three Deputy, three Vile, one Ogre, one Ginkaku. Again, it's that win button that a lot of purple decks go to just to finish the game when you put them at zero it's really strong uh two rebelli great against jessmon buys you the turn um sometimes that's all you need three gundramon one beelsmon i love it as a tech especially with 
six to eight Impmon in in Musketeer. I, I ran it as a one of. I really liked it. I think uh, it's a good choice for Beale Star. Uh, name of the game. She is the bread and butter. Uh, the two one split of Millie and Zwart. Love it. Uh, I think. I think Millie's another one a lot of people don't play, but I think you need an answer to uh, Craniumon. Honestly, even though it's not super popular, if someone sticks one and you're not running the Millie or you're not running the blue package, you're just dead in the water, unfortunately. Uh, two of the Schwarmer, two Trump Sword, three five, five Bullet, four Nailbone. That's, wow. That's a heavy Nailbone package, but it worked for him. I like it. Two Happy Bullet, one Izzy Joe, and one Matt. So, Aaron... Second place with Musketeer. Strong deck in this format, honestly. And then first place was Kevin with Agubond. I love Agubond. I haven't gone around to testing or playing it yet in this format or the next, but I think it's a lot stronger than what we're seeing. I don't think a lot of people are playing it, but I think the people who are know what they're doing because this deck is great. So he played four Coromon, the uh, BT5 Coromon. Uh, he played three of the Tamer Search Agu, four of the Two Drop Agu, four of the BT6 Agu, of course, three Promo Agu that gives a 2k boost to Greymons, four of the New Starter Agu, 2k when swinging at security, three Agunimon as that kill button if you need it, four Promo Greymon, it gets security plus one if it's over an Agumon, which it always will be in this deck. Uh, four Geo Greymon pops out of security, kills something. Three Bond of Bravery, which is, I don't, I'd, I'd run four, but maybe this has me wanting to test it with three. That seems wild, but again, he went undefeated five and oh. Three Gaia Force, four Lightning Joust, which is, I mean, someone in Mario's event just got the promo Greymon and Lightning Jousted three times and took my whole stack. That was scary, man. So the card is, it's good, and you don't have to put in red like some decks are doing to like get to it. You just run it. Uh, four Atomic Blaster, more removal. Three Marcus, four Tie, solid deck. As you can see, there's only a handful of cards in the deck. It's what, 12, 13 different cards like in your main deck? That's awesome. We can't get more consistent than that. I think Bond of Bravery is an extremely strong deck. So congrats to Kevin for going 5-0. You got your playmat on the way, and that was Friday's event, y'all. So now, let's pop on over to Monday's event. So, on Monday, we had Kyle in fourth place, and Kyle played the uh, yellow deck. He played yellow Mastay Dynasmon, Wargramon. He played yellow good stuff, uh, and... He did phenomenal. He only lost once, so he went 4-1. And, uh, yeah, he played the 4 Upa, the 1 uh, Bivimon. He played a Ghazi, because he's playing the Mastimon. He can pull it back, and memory blockers, like I said, are pretty huge in the in this format. He played the 4 Bushy, 4 Starmon, 4 Pulsemon. He was just ready, like, he was... I want nothing but good rookies. This is, uh, that's what he said to himself. Uh, he had the Meiku Mon as a one of little little spicy tech. The four of the new Wizard Mon, four Mimic Mon, two of the Promo Gato Mon. I like it. Some recovery. Two Rise Gray Mon to be able to slam those TKs for free. One Siren Mon. Three of the Angel Woman that plays the rookie. One War Growl. Two Starter Deck Angel Mon. Three Maste. Two War Gray. Two Dynas, four Blinding Ray, three Wyvern Breath, three TK. This is a solid deck. Yellow is not dead. Uh, I watched this man do some dirty stuff on stream on Monday. So take it seriously, guys. Um, Yellow Mastamon, still good. In third place, we had Russell Lepar. Le Lepare, I'm sorry. I I'm French, too. It's I should have a better accent. <laughs> um, so he played... Security control. Uh, musketeer, kind of, security control. He had security with Bealstar. And a solid, solid list. He didn't list his eggs, so I'm not sure if it was Cupes or op or Upas. Uh, but either one, honestly, is good. It's probably Cupy. I, I have a strong feeling it was Cupy. I don't remember offhand. 
Uh, but he had the 4 BT2 Salmon for recovery. He had uh, 2 Bushy, 2 Cordramon, 2 Geo, just abusing that, that uh, security. One of the Mega Dramon, the on your turn, plus 2,000. And uh, counts as a black Digimon as well. So, I mean, it's, it's a cheap slam. And it helps him go into some of his tech later on. <laughs> a little bit. So, I mean, that's... I don't hate it. He's got four Magna Dramon. Or, I'm not, I'm sorry, not Magna Dramon. Magna and Dramon for the recovery, of course. One Misty Mon. One Mega Drummon. So, like, that's, like I said with the tech, the, the milling five can be pretty huge. Um, not sure how this did for him throughout the entire day. I mean, he only lost round one to Jessmon, and it was Jessmon with, you know, delicate plan going off. He wasn't, if Jessmon goes off, you can't win, basically. So, I mean, this is interesting, though. I don't hate it. Um, three Beal Star, three Magna Dramon, three Sakuyamon, Sakuyamon's huge in this format. Such a good counter to a lot of popular strategies. Um, two Zwart Defeat, two Ultimate Flare, three Schwarmer, three Iron Fisted, two Fly Bullet, four Reinforcement, four Wyvern's Breath, three Izzy Joe, and one TK. Just the, every option in this deck is so impactful. Uh, Security Control has a lot of different ways it could go now and they're all so good honestly and this is a really phenomenal deck i know russell's a really good pilot uh he does really well at bigger events uh he's got a playmat coming his way so good job russell congrats on third and on to second place we had danny lynn uh plays in gfg events a lot he played the jessmon he did really well he only lost in finals um He's a great player. We've seen him win with Rookie Rush. We've seen him pilot, I think, Security Control in the past. He's played Yellow before. Now he's here on Jessmon, taking names. So he had the one Gigimon, four Demi Marimon. Again, the four or five eggs in a deck this fast, it's dealer's choice. I don't think you're ever seeing that fifth egg, uh, at least not in most games. Four of the Huckmon, one of the old starter Agu, three of the new starter Agu, four Gilmon. Four Blanc, get that draw power. Uh, four Bowhuck, a 3-3 three, three split of Geo Greymon and Starter Greymon. Three CL. He had the four Savior, of course. One of the War Growl. I like having that fifth level five. I don't think it's necessary, but the War Growl can be a really good secondary boss monster, honestly. Then he had the four Jessmon, of course. He did opt for the one Gallantmon. One Blitz Omni and one Omni Antibody X. Really, really spicy. I'm sure that came up and took some people by surprise. He's still rocking the one Gravity Crush. Two Delicate Plan, two Judgment. Three Boost, one Gaia Force. Uh, notably, no tie. So again, that is an option that you can opt for. Um, I think this is a solid list. As far as Jessmon goes, uh, ratios are always a little weird. You just got to find what works for you what strategy you want to go for and try to execute it as consistently as you can and our man Danny got to finals with this this was a solid list congrats Danny your mat is on the way and let's take a look at the undefeated deck for last Monday Josh with Gabu Bond so we have the 4-1 uh, again pretty standard split that we see with eggs when they decide to run the 5 it's usually this Demi Vimon 4 Drabumon 3 Stravimon, 4 BT6 Gabu, 3 Promo Gabu, 2 Starter Gabu. So, same same, uh, same rookie lineup we usually see, but with different numbers in a couple places. We have the 4-3 the split for the hybrids. He has that extra Kendo. 2 Octomon, 2 Grizzly, and 2 Cordramon. So, a pretty heavy champion lineup with less Cordramon, but opting for the blockers. You have the four Gabu Bond, of course. Gabumon Bond of Friendship. Three Howling Memory Boost and one Blue Memory Boost, just to search a little better. Four Spark. Two Breath, three Davis, four Matt. Solid, solid deck. So it went undefeated. So, Adam, I mean, honestly, there wasn't a lot of spillover in these two top four decks. Just, what was it? The We had two Bond... 
uh, security control is kind of musketeers, but it, two uh, bond of friendship and the rest were independent. So healthy, healthy meta, I think, right now. I think a lot of things, if piloted correctly, can do well. And we got eight people getting their play mats. They're nice Imperial play mats. Uh, you know, they're custom GFG dice. Uh, don't forget, everyone, we're on a new server. The link will be in the description. Uh, we're trying to do more tournaments. I'm going to try and have some more Fridays if I can, just so people can get some more reps in. Um, as soon as next Friday hits, when EX01 comes out, we're going to allow that on Friday, I believe. So get some Nats practice. I'm trying to get some good practice in with good players. Uh, I know I'll be hitting up the playtesting section a lot. I need to dust, dust off my old fingies and get some practice in. Uh, also, check out Mario's events. Uh, great place for practice as well. True Champs Gaming's having a lot of big events. We got a lot of we got a great community with a lot of skilled players playing in multiple events weekly. And honestly, we're just we're blessed that uh, we have that. Like, I mean, I got people who want to help me run play tests all the time and just share their knowledge, different points of view. And I think it's really important to listen to those different points of view and not get in an echo chamber. So that you can stay on top of the game. See how other people are thinking. Uh, I'm rambling now. But thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for playing in our events. For supporting the team. Supporting the community. Supporting each other. Thank you guys. Uh, it's been a lot of rough stuff in the last couple of years. But Digimon has been a big shining light for a lot of people. I know it has for me. So like, comment, subscribe. Follow the YouTube. Do the algorithm stuff. See you on Discord. See you on Monday. Love you guys.